Hey everyone, thanks for joining me for the second video of the month of July. Um, we are out here in the beautiful Clemson Experimental Forest. Um, we just rode on our mountain bikes since it's 4th of July. Um, we started at the uh, main road that goes down to the dam. Um, and then from there we went on to Dalton Road, which is like another logging trail. And then back down here to the dam. Um, it is 4th of July, so happy 4th of July if you're celebrating. And um, it is just gorgeous out here. It isn't too hot yet. The bugs aren't uh, out and biting us yet. And uh, I just wanted to say hi. Thank you for watching. Um, I'm gonna get try to get some shots of the lake and the dam because it is absolutely gorgeous out today. Um, also, just a reminder that you can donate to a ride to remember throughout the month of July. The link is in my bio um, on Instagram and Facebook. Um, also here on this YouTube channel. Um, here is my bike, my mountain bike, and my helmet. Um, definitely want to avoid the roads this weekend uh, just because there's a lot of people out there. They might be drunk, they might have fireworks, and they probably have boats attached to their trucks. So we are enjoying the um, nice scenic outdoors on our mountain bikes. Um, July 2nd had marked the one year passing of my grandmother, so it is kind of a bittersweet weekend, um, and it's nice to finally kind of be out of this COVID bubble, or starting to get out of the COVID bubble, and being able to, um, you know, remember her with family members, and talk about her, um, and also be able to grieve her properly, um, just because when she died a year ago, um, she died at the place where I worked basically so I was also kind of expected to still be an employee which is um, not that much fun in that situation I couldn't just be the granddaughter so um, it's nice to finally be able to properly grieve her a year later so which is nice um, but yeah guys it's absolutely gorgeous out here it's just a bunch of woods um, there's another part of the lake on that side I'll just try to get some shots in and, um, and yeah, it's a, it's a beautiful day. I hope everyone's doing great. Um, I guess we'll do tips on Alzheimer's um, was kind of an idea that I had. So um, sorry, this is kind of impromptu, but the biggest tip that I have for anybody dealing with a family member of, with Alzheimer's or dementia or any related disease like that, um, is don't argue with them um, when they say, um, when they start remembering something that didn't actually happen or start uh, seeing something that's not actually there, which is, um, can happen. For example, my uh, husband's grandmother was seeing a cat that wasn't really there. And um, what he did, um, because a lot of people would be like, oh no, there's not a cat there. There's no cat. And that would probably upset the, um, the individual. Um, what my husband did when his grandmother started seeing this cat was he just kind of agreed with her and said oh yeah it's such a gorgeous cat um what a nice cat how long have you had it and just uh you know don't argue with them um one mistake that we made with my grandmother especially when she was first diagnosed with dementia was we would argue with her so for example she would remember something incorrectly from her past and um we would be like, no, that didn't happen. Um, no, you're remembering that wrong. And that would immediately trigger her um, into um, being more argumentative or at times combative uh, with um, us or with her caregivers. So um, my biggest tip for anyone dealing with a family member or a patient or a loved one with Alzheimer's is just don't argue with them, go along with it. Um, if they're telling a story that didn't actually happen, just just go with it um don't don't argue with them um a lot of the nurses um and healthcare workers that i used to work with at anmed were would argue with the patients and say um no that's not happening no that's uh that's incorrect and it would just um uh, create kind of like a snowball effect where they'd get angrier and then they'd get combative and then they would, we would have to give them, um, you know, a sedating agent like Haldol or Ativan or something like that. 
So my, again, my biggest tip is just don't argue, just go with it. Um, and you can probably continue having a pleasant conversation with them, hopefully. Um, but yeah, so that's my biggest tip for Alzheimer's. We'll do, I guess, a tip of the week each week. Um, yeah, and I just also want to say that I am in no way an expert. I've just worked with a lot of um, uh, demented and confused people. Um, as a nurse and then also as a granddaughter my grandmother was very confused so um but yeah so th that's uh that's really all i have to say we'll get some shots of the lake and then we'll continue on our ride um we are currently a little over 52 miles into a ride to remember and then today we'll probably do about 10 miles um so that'll bring us back to 62. Um, so, so far we're off to a good start. Also good luck to all my fellow riders, whether you're doing the in-person ride or doing it virtually. Um, I hope everyone has a good day and a very safe, uh, weekend. Thanks. Bye.